Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a review on Yolissa's 613 hair. This is a 30 inch wig, I believe, or 26, 26 inch. Yes, it's a 26 inch 613 HD lace frontal wig. Oh, that was a mouthful. This wig was absolutely amazing. I had no shedding, like literally no shedding. And you know, 613 hair is trash sometimes, but no, not in this case with Yolissa hair. No shedding. The hair was super soft. It was really full. And here, I'm showing you guys the colors that I used to achieve the color that you see in my thumbnail. So you want to go ahead and get your Wella T14 and T18 toner. And you want to pour it into, I'm doing a water dye method. You want to pour it into a bowl of hot water. So I went ahead and for every one part developer, I mean one part um dye, well toner, you want to put two part developer. So again, every one part toner, you want to put two part developer. So you want to fill it up twice and pour it in there. I went ahead and I used four boxes of dye. Well, toner. I keep saying dye. Dye or toner? I used four boxes of toner, okay? So I did that, the two part thing for each um, bottle of toner. So as you can see here, after you pour out the toner, you want to fill it up with the 40 volume developer or 30 volume developer, any any volume developer of your choice, and pour it in there. You want to do that twice for every box that you use. I did purchase six boxes just in case, but I only used four. You want to go ahead and give it a really good mix as if you're doing like a um, regular water dyeing method and make sure you comb through it so that there are no patches and globs of dye all over your wig and then it looks like an ugly color job. So I went ahead and I kept playing with it and I kept dunking it and combing through just to make sure that the dye gets everywhere and catches every ounce of this hair because I did not want an ugly color job. This hair was for New Year's. And after letting it sit there for about six minutes, because you don't want to leave it too long, it will get super dark. This is the beautiful bomb gray color that I achieved. And I went ahead and I rinsed it out in some super cold water. Look at that amazing no stain on the lace nothing i went ahead and i rinsed it out in some super cold water i conditioned it and i let it sit in the dryer for about 45 minutes and now we're gonna start the sleigh i hope you guys understood that for any questions anything that you need to know if you want to get more full in detail you can go ahead and leave a comment below i will reply to everybody So I started using this razor um, lace cutting technique and I do like it, but because I can't really see when I'm cutting it on myself, I still use my scissors from time to time. I'd rather do it when I'm cutting like the lace off my clients. It's way more easier to maneuver and see because it's like, I'm not doing it on myself. I'm doing it on somebody else. So I'm facing them if you understand what I'm saying. So it's easier to see. But if you like to do it this way, you could go ahead and do it this way. And then after I cut everything off, I'm just going to go ahead and lay all the access lace that didn't get any glue. And then I'm going to spray with my favorite holding spray and tie it down with my elastic band and let it sit there for about... 20 minutes and I'm gonna come go ahead and proceed to flat iron in my hair or you can style it at this point anything you want to do and here's how it looked when I had my friend help me and take the band off I just know I look like George Washington right here. But anyways, I went ahead and I used the mousse technique for these baby hairs because I just feel like with colored hair, you need mousse to do your baby hair so that it can have that fluffy look. You don't, Especially with light colored hair, you don't want to use like gel because it's going to look really paced down and just real thick and nasty. So I'd rather use the mousse and then comb them out so they have a fluffy look when I'm done. So I have this technique that after I'm done applying my mousse to my baby hairs, you want to go ahead and put on a silk scarf and then you want to put back on your elastic band and blow dry it for like five to seven minutes. This is going to set your baby hairs and it's reset your lace and give you back that ultimate nice melted look. And then, boom, here you have it. Beautiful, well melted baby hairs. And I'm going to go ahead and use my little baby hair comb and just fluff them out of it. And 
and voila here is the final look you guys this hair was amazing once again shout out to your list of hair do you see how the hair is just moving so nice and swiftly the lace is melted i had no shedding the hair was just i give this i give this hair actually uh 10 out of 10 actually if you ask me my honest opinion i give it a 10 out of 10 once again shout out to your list of hair i hope you guys love this video and happy new years i will see you guys soon with some more content peace